Hey everyone, I'm Al Turcaso speaking to you live from the North American continent, from the United States of America, to I'm in the Commonwealth state of Pennsylvania, and I am live from Pittsburgh, PA. And I want to say to my friends and my family over there in the Philippines, I want to give a big shout out and acknowledgement of two wonderful women, Bing and Jean. They work for a company over there, and they're terrific. They're wonderful women. And I am going to put do not disturb, because every time I do a video, I get it disturbed. So hold on a half second, everybody. Oh, yeah, mama me. <laughs> so any rate, sorry about that. One of these... One of these alerts came through, but I have it on Do Not Disturb Now. Yeah, there's some stuffed animals that my girlfriend and I have, and we need a repair. <laughs> we have some repairs we need, but hey, we're getting there. I um, want to say something to Jean. I mean, Bing, Bing and Jean. You know, with Bing, we spoke about your situation, your mother, and you're struggling financially. And I really mean it when I say that this, I mean, oh, excuse me, the place that you work at needs to give you a raise. You deserve it. If they allow me to get a survey, I will be giving, giving you and Gene the highest possible rating. But now comes a little bit of different information. I said to you being that I want you to start a YouTube channel by this coming Monday. So I believe Monday might be February the 20th. Don't, no, wait a minute, that can't be right. No, that's Sunday. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on, time out. <laughs> yeah, so on the 21st, by the 21st of February 2023, I'd like you to at least do one quick video. But more important than that, Gene and all of you need to subscribe to my channel over here at YouTube, or you can go to TikTok or Facebook or Instagram. But friends around the globe, there's a reason why I am asking these two fine young women. And by the way, I'm very proud of what they are doing and working hard and helping people. But in all seriousness, I want you, Jean, and Bing, and all of you, everybody who ever watches me, it's time for you to find a secondary income. But more importantly, I am here to help you in every way that I can. And believe me when I tell you, I have access to people who have been successful. I am actually in contact with a gentleman. His first name is Larry. He was successful in a company called Amway. Very successful. Well, if you need advice on business and businesses and what have you, guess what? You got a friend in Pennsylvania now. And for everybody out there, you can reach me personally by text at my business phone. By text, area code 412-559-2731. I want to help each and every one of you. And yes, I have an agenda. And I'm going to make it quick. In the 80s, I was at a training for learning how to be a chef or a cook. We happened to go with, to, to what they call in the United States a soup kitchen. A, a kid that was about, a child who was about five years old asked me if he could have an extra piece of bread. And I did not know that there was a limit. So I gave this child 
five pieces of bread. And he acted as if it was a full course meal. He was so grateful. And I thought it was great that he was grateful. But I thought about it. And then I got mad. And I've been angry about it ever since. And you might say, well, why? It's because no child on the planet, no human on the planet should be that excited by five pieces of bread. Don't get me wrong. I love, you know, bread is an important piece of the meal, but it's not the meal. And I don't like that. Ever since I have been working to create additional income. I want you to get it too. So it doesn't mean you have to join one of my programs. That would be a wonderful honor if you did. But what you do need to do is find extra income. I don't care if it's selling shoelaces. I seriously, I don't care. Find an additional income because quite honestly, the companies around the globe are not giving their employees raises. If anything, they are laying them off, firing them, and, and cutting their pay. We, the people of this earth, must not allow it anymore. If you look at the finances of most of these companies,